हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संतोष काले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मालेगाव बी के बारामती लेट अस डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इन डिटेल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द फॉर्मूला ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो एफ ऑफ एस दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ टी इंटू इज टू माइनस एस टी इंटू डी टी देन वी विल सी द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी लिनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी सो ए इंटू एफ वन ऑफ टी प्लस बी इंटू एफ टू ऑफ टी इफ यू टेक द लैपलास देन यू कैन गेट ए इंटू एफ वन ऑफ एक्स प्लस बी इंटू एफ टू ऑफ एक्स This property it is called as property of linearity. So it states that Laplace transform of linear combination of signal is same as linear combination of their individual Laplace transform. While the resultant region of convergence is intersection or overlap of individual ROCs. So this is all about the linearity property. Next important property is the first derivative. So d by dt of f of t, if you obtain the Laplace transform, it is resulted into s into f of s minus f of zero dash. Next property, second derivative. So d square by dt square of f of t, if you obtain the Laplace transform, resulted into s square into f of s minus s into f of zero dash minus f of zero dash. So this is all about second derivative. in a similar way you can write the property for and derivatives next important property is the integration property so integration zero to infinity f of lambda into d lambda by taking the laplace resulted into 1 upon s into f of s next important property multiplication property so multiplication of time domain sequence by t in the time domain resulted into minus d by ds of f of s in the s domain next important property time shifting property f of t minus a into e of t minus a if you obtain the laplace transform resulted into e raised to minus a s into f of s so we can say that Here f of t minus a indicate the sequence f of t shifted in time domain that is delayed by a. The the shifting in signal in time domain by a corresponds to the multiplication by e raised to minus a s in the frequency domain. So this property is called as time shifting property. next property complex shift property so f of t into e raised to minus at resulted into f of s plus a next time scaling property f of t upon a resulted into a into f of as in the s domain next important property convolution so convolution in time domain convolution in time domain resulted the multiplication of two s domain sequences next initial value theorem so initial value of the sequence f of t can be obtained by limit t test to zero of f of t this is equal to limit s test to infinity of s into f of s next important property final value theorem so final value of sequence f of t can be obtained limit t test to infinity of f of t this is equal to limit s test to zero of s into f of s next let us see uh, some of the important properties in detail so first important property is linearity and time shifting property so we know that according to the fourier transform s equal to j omega 
x of s जैसे देखो इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इनफिनिटी टू प्लस इनफिनिटी x of t into a raised to minus s t into dt दिस इज़ द फॉर्मूला फॉर लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड x of t इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू पाई j इंटीग्रेशन सिग्मा माइनस j इनफिनिटी टू सिग्मा प्लस j इनफिनिटी ऑफ x of s into a raised to s t into d s दिस इज़ द फॉर्मूला फॉर इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ If we have two different sequences, x1 of t and x2 of t, and corresponding raised domain sequences are x1 of s and x2 of s, if we combine it and if we obtain the Laplace, and this is resulted into a into x1 of s plus b into x2 of s, and the region of convergence is intersection or overlapping of both the region of convergence. Next, time shifting property. If x of t Laplace transform resulted into x of s, and x of t minus t zero, its Laplace transform resulted into a raised to minus s t zero into x of s. So proof of this property it is given here. We know that x of t. Uh, This is equal to one upon two pi j integration sigma minus j infinity to sigma plus j infinity x of s into a raised to s t into d s. In this formula, if you replace the value of t by t minus t zero, you can get finally answer as one upon two pi j integration a raised to minus s t zero into x of s into a raised to s t into d s. So it can be recognized at if you obtain the Laplace of x of t minus t zero, it is resulted into a raised to minus s t zero into x of s. So we can say that if the signal is shifted in time, may have both the magnitude and phase of Laplace transform alter. Now let us see the example of linear and Time shifting property. Consider x of t. This is equal to 2 x1 of t minus 2.5 minus 1.5 into x1 of t minus 4. Let us consider the x1 of t. This is equal to sine of omega 0 t into unit step signal. Now, using the Laplace transform example, you can write the x1 of s. This is equal to omega 0 upon s square plus omega 0 square, where real of s greater than Zero. Now, using the linearity and time shifting property, finally you can write the answer of x of t as x of s. This is equal to two into a raised to minus two point five s minus one five into a raised to minus four s into omega zero upon s square plus omega zero, where the real of s always greater than zero. Next convolution property. So convolution of two time domain sequences resulted into multiplication of two s domain sequences. Next, let us see uh, one example of first order input and first order system with impulse response. Let us consider x of t. This is equal to a raised to minus a t into unit step signal. And h of t this is equal to a raised to minus b t into unit step signal. Let us take the Laplace transform of both these individual sequences. Laplace transform of x of t resulted into one upon s plus a, and Laplace of second sequence resulted into one upon s plus b. Then the Laplace transform of the output y of s this is equal to multiplication of this. One upon s plus a into one upon s plus b. And then you can apply the partial fraction expansion, and by using the inverse Laplace transform, finally you can get the output y of t. This is equal to one upon b minus a in bracket a raised to minus a t into unit step signal minus a raised to minus b t into unit step signal. Therefore. By using the Laplace transform, we can easily solve 
the problem based on LTI system using the system's impulse responses. Next example it is related to sinusoidal input. Let us consider h of t this is equal to a raised to minus at into unit step signal and x of t equal to cos of omega 0 t into unit step signal. Taking the Laplace of both these individual sequences, Laplace of first sequence h of t this is equal to 1 upon s plus a where real of s greater than minus a and Laplace of second sequence x of t this is equal to x of s s upon s square plus omega 0 square where real of s greater than 0. According to the property, according to the property you can write y of s this is equal to multiplication of both these s domain sequences we know the convolution property convolution of two sequences in the time domain resulted into multiplication of two sequences in the s domain so you multiply these two sequences if you solve it and by applying the inverse laplace transform you can get the answer y of t equal to u of t upon s square plus omega 0 square into in bracket a sin of omega 0 t plus omega 0 into cos of omega 0 t minus a into a raised to minus a t. Next important property is the differentiation property in time domain. If you consider this is the Laplace, then this is the formula of inverse Laplace transform, then d by dt of x of t this is equal to 1 upon 2 pi j integration sigma minus j infinity to sigma plus j infinity s into x of s into e raised to s t into t s. So differentiation in the time domain resulted into multiplication of s in the s domain. Now let us see the example based on systems impulse response. If you consider x of t equal to del of t and y of t equal to h of t, then find the system response for a second order system. This is the second order system is defined. This is the equation for second order system. Now to solve by using the Laplace, taking the Laplace transform on both the side of this equation, a into Laplace of first term second derivative term plus b into Laplace of first derivative term plus c into Laplace of y of t this is equal to Laplace of x of t and x of t is nothing but del of t so this is equal to Laplace of del of t we know that Laplace of del of t equal to 1 if you solve it you can get uh, left hand side as it is and then finally you can get h of s equal to 1 upon a square plus b s plus c if we solve by using method of inverse transform then y of t can be resulted into k1 into a raised to r1t into unit step signal plus k2 into e raised to r2t into unit step signal. So the general solution to the second order system can be expressed as a sum of two complex exponentials. So this is all about the properties of Laplace transform in details. Thank you very much.